Ross, uh, good morning and welcome to Pharmacoms TV. Uh, can you introduce yourself to our audience and uh, give us a little bit of an insight into your work in the NHS? Absolutely. Um, thank you for having me on this morning. Um, so I'm Ross O'Brien. I'm the Digital Innovation Director for Central and Northwest London Foundation Trust, uh, which is a large uh, trust that spreads across um, uh, uh, most of Northwest London. Um, and I'm also the digital lead for the London Digital IAPT programme. Uh, IAPT is the NHS Talking Therapies um, uh, uh, programme. So I um, lead the, the, the London region there in terms of uh, strides to making talking therapies more digital. Great. So obviously we're, uh, as the viewers can see, we are not face to face and um, we're currently in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, how has this affected the digital innovation programs within the NHS and the Foundation Trust to date and how do you think that effect will last a little longer? Uh, it's, been, uh, it's been extremely dramatic um, for us. Uh, the, the, our work has been for the last three, four, five years planning um, to shift people uh, onto digital platforms, planning um, to support the clinicians uh, uh, to make uh, the moves that we've seen during COVID, um, uh, uh, thinking about how um, patients would or wouldn't interact in a purely digital world. And what's happened um, in the last two weeks of March was a, a revolutionary shift. We've seen um, all of our services move to uh, uh, digital by default um, and uh, where they haven't, where we've got services in wards, we've seen some of the processes um, and some of the practices that clinician, the, the clinician and staff interaction shift into this new um, digital world. So it's really, really been dramatic. To give you some um, examples, uh, uh, where, where we've traditionally invited patients in for, uh, for mental health services or physical health checks or uh, rehabilitation, that sort of thing. Um, uh, it's all shifted onto uh, uh, platforms like Zoom, uh, MS Teams. There are, some, uh, there, are some, there, are, there are some platforms in the NHS which are just coming through as accredited now um, and, and we're in the process of moving people onto those. But it's such a dramatic shift, shift for us to go, into, uh, to go into our offices, to go into our clinics and to see them, you know, th th there's, there's virtually no staff there. Um, they've been turned into spaces which are uh, looking at logistics so we can get PPE to the right places. Um, and, and I think what people have realized is um, COVID is, is terrible. It's, it's, it's a really, really, um, a difficult time uh, uh, for, for the world and for, for local communities. But the benefits that we'll get and the leap that we've made in such a short period of time, we need to think about how we hold on to those. So at the moment, we're giving a lot of thought about how, um, uh, rather than talking about how we'd move back to where we were previously, how we're going to hold on to those gains of the new normal and how we move forward um, with, 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 with all of those gains I've talked about um, as, as a standard way of working. Um, we are currently at the 2nd of June 